My name is John McGlynn and I'm a fifth year PhD student in chemical and biomolecular engineering. The research problem is basically we're interested in a wound healing application where we encapsulate stem cells into a hydrogel material, which has applications to be implanted and things like that. And we want to understand how the cells actually remodel their surroundings because that's important in understanding how they can migrate within the material and also eventually leave the material and, and to a wound so that they can enhance wound repair and things like that. And the technique that we use is fairly unique. It's called microbiology, and basically it involves embedding these little particles into the material along with the cells and then we can watch how those particles move and then based on that we can see how the cell is actually remodeling its surroundings. In general, one of the main goals of biomaterials research is to enhance uh, wound repair and tissue regeneration for things like burn wounds or combat medicine. So these materials would be designed such that they can take some stem cells that someone has stored from you or take directly from your bone marrow and put them in this hydrogel and then implant the hydrogel into you and then it will deliver additional cells to the wound to enhance healing. A lot of the work in lab, it's sort of like walking around in the dark until you grab onto something and then you sort of know where you're at. We put two differently sized particles in the material and we were finding that the larger ones were more mobile than the smaller ones and that's not really to be expected, right? Because the smaller ones can move around structure more easily. And so really digging into that problem and trying different things to figure out why that might be the case. And eventually we identified the cause of it. That was pretty exciting for sure. I have two grandparents who actually suffer from different wound related issues. And so it sort of feels good to know that I'm working on something to, to possibly help them and, and people like them in the future.